Hi guys, I'm Miss Gilbert and I'm here to show you another quick way to make comics for class. This is Make Beliefs Comics and it has a bunch of just kind of stock characters and things that you can use to create a comic to turn in. So I can come right here and this is where I've already started one and you can see I can tell it how many panels I want to have and I can have up to 18 panels. I can name my comic. And this is a comic I started to share about um, phone manners. Put my name. I want to capitalize my last name though. All right. I can create an account if I want to to sign in, but I don't have to. So what I want to do now is I want to move my dialog bubble. I don't know why it won't let me. There we go. going to move my little person over. I can just click here and I've added all these things and I'll show you how to add them in a moment. Um, now I can just type whatever text I want in here. Now I come to this panel right here and I've already got a background in it so now I want to add to it and I want to add a person to it so I'm going to come down here and look and you got pet word starters COVID-19 comics comic starters characters talking speech balloons um, objects that you can add let's just say I want to add a banana peel now I just randomly have a banana peel in my picture um, I can go back and put masks on characters. This is where I can pick the background. Let's say I don't want the background that I've already got. I can swap it out for one of these other backgrounds. I'll move it to a haunted house with a banana peel. I'll have to take the banana peel off the cat. That might be why the cat is angry. Um, I'm going to go back and I want to add a character. Um, let's add this guy since I've got a haunted house. Oh no, I've added two. And that's okay if you add two, just click on it and then click this trash can and um, you can delete him. All right, now let's say that I decided I am done with this. What am I going to do? I'm going to go right here to how to save. And it's going to tell me you can create and log in and register and then save it, or I can update and save. or I can just print or email it to myself. So now here's my final comic. Do you see my little crazy end here that makes no sense, but that's okay. I can now save it and it says save image to disk, but what it really means it's gonna save it to your computer. All right, and so I'm gonna save it and it's downloaded to my computer now. And now that I've saved it and downloaded it, I can actually send it to my teacher. Isn't that amazing? All right, really cute, really easy. You can pick all sorts of different backgrounds. You can make it up to 18 long. You can have as few as three. You have all the little tools you need right here. I encourage you to play around with it. Um, look at all the different objects you can add, all the characters you can add, all the backgrounds or just background colors. Um, you can even use it to make a greeting card for a friend. So good luck.